Muy buenas tardes, señores y señoras. Here we are on a brand new episode of the South Bay Search Channel. Seeing as the entire community is under quarantine right now, I figured I'd make a video for botanas. And if you guys don't know what botanas, it's like an appetizer, something to eat while you're not really eating. So today we're gonna be working on making some quarantine camarones, AKA ceviche. Ceviche. And if you guys don't know what ceviche is, it's basically a dish that consists of shrimp, lemon. Anyways, you guys will see. We about to get in the kitchen. Let's go. So I got these headless shell on easy peel, individually quick frozen, ready to cook raw shrimp. Um, so what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna wash them and then I'm gonna peel them. And for some reason these don't come with that little black line that they come around the back, which is, I think it's poop. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these peeled and then we're gonna chop them up. I'm gonna throw the peels in here and I'm gonna chop them up right there. So let's get started. They come with like this little skin around it. All we're gonna do is just peel that apart and it comes right off. So that's the skin and that's the shrimp. And the way I do it is I grab it right from the tail and then I pull it off. So as you guys can see, these don't come with the backing in there. It's already removed. The rest of this stuff on the inside, that's the nervous system. You don't really gotta worry about that. But this is the one that's the most important because you don't want any caca in your shrimp, that's nasty. So now that we got them all peeled, Bruh. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in this strainer right here and I'm going to wash them all. And when you wash them, wash them with cold water. Don't cook them with warm water because you're gonna cook them. No, don't clean them with hot water because you're gonna cook them. Always clean them with the cold water. There we go. Can I get some beer? Thank you. Now that we've got our shrimp salt washed, we're gonna go ahead and dice these up and put them in there. So once we've got our shrimp all cut, they should look like this, like little tiny pieces. Now we're gonna add some lemon. Just enough lemon so that the ceviche is not drowning, but it is touching all the ceviche, you know. Now we're gonna add our sea salt. Bruh. There we go. Now we're gonna add some black pepper. So as you guys can see, it's already turning a little bit of pink and that's exactly what we want. We're gonna go ahead and let that sit for a little bit. Now we're gonna cut our onion. Bruh. 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 <laughs> hey, you know you put a glove on, it's not gonna protect you. I almost cut my whole pinky right now. <laughs> They're gonna say, what kind of man are you that you're cutting veggies with gloves? Okay, <laughs> So once I cut the onion, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw it in there, in the shrimp. So now we got our chile and we're gonna cut it into little pieces like this and then we're gonna put it in there. And this is absolutely at your discretion for how spicy you wanna get it. If you want more chile, be more than welcome to cut more chile. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of these uh, crushed red peppers. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix it all up. 
But once we got our cucumber peel, we're gonna go ahead and take out the seeds from the inside. There we go. Let me go ahead and add those in. Add in the cucumbers. So once we've gutted out all our tomatoes, we can go ahead and dice them up and throw them in the ceviche. There we go. Once we have our cucumbers in there, we're gonna go ahead and mix it all up with the tomatoes and the rest of the ceviche. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this Maggi Hugo seasoning sauce. And you don't need too much of this, just a little bit. And then next, we're gonna add our clamato. From that one, you just need a little bit, not too much. While that's mixing up, we're gonna go ahead and dice our avocado and our cilantro. Ta-da! And the way you take this one out is so we're gonna go ahead and cut it while it's inside the shell in the little squares. And now we mix. And there it is, mi gente. Ready to go. Muy buenas noches, mi gente. It's officially nighttime, and we're back at the house now. As you can see, there's not much left. There's about half of the plate now. Um, so that's a good sign, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out for ourselves. I've already tried it, but I'm gonna try it one more just cause se me antoja, se me antoja. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's fucking delicious. This just does for a great, like, you know, midday snack. I don't know about early morning snack, but definitely late night snack. Oof, oof, look at that, mi gente. Time to try it out. Here we go, as you guys can see. Oh, it's dripping. And here goes, first bite. Mm. Oh my God. You know what, mi gente? This is my first time making ceviche, and I gotta say, this, That is delicious. Muy gente, the ceviche, when it's fresh, con some tapatio, it just hit different, you know what I'm saying? It... Mm. So there you have it, mi gente. That's how you make ceviche. This is perfect for the perfect quarantine snack. This is easy to make, anybody can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment. Make sure you guys wash your hands. Make sure you guys take care of your grandma and your grandpa, your mom and your dad, everybody closest to you. Give them a call, give them a FaceTime, let them know, hey, I just found out this bomb ass recipe for how to make ceviche. Here's his channel. And no joke though, mi gente, those are the people that really matter to us. And those are the people that are most at risk. And just make sure you guys stay safe, eat more ceviche, watch more of my videos. Ya saben mi gente, until next time, ahí nos vemos.